Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, in his book, it's called Al-Fawaid, he said, the door of success, the door of tawfiq, has been closed upon some people because of six things. He said, first, being busy and occupied with the ni'mah, with the blessing itself, than being busy with being grateful to the ni'mah. Let's take an example. Money, ni'mah, right? Wealth is a blessing. I am occupied with the wealth more than I am occupied of thanking Allah for that wealth. More than I am occupied, how can I spend that wealth to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can we be grateful to the ni'mah? We be grateful to the ni'mah with three things. With the heart, with the tongue, and with the actions. With the heart, by admitting and confirming and believing that this ni'mah is from Allah. This success that I have, this PhD, this house that I have. All this is from Allah. Not because I'm a shrewd businessman, I'm a smart guy, I went to school, my father is rich. No, no, no. I have to admit that this ni'mah is from Allah Azza wa Jal. With the tongue, obviously, by constantly, alhamdulillah, thanking Allah Azza wa Jal, by mentioning the ni'mah, by showing the ni'mah. And third, not to use the blessing with something that is not pleasing to the one who blessed you with it. This is one of the ways to thank that ni'mah, to use the ni'mah in the service of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah blessed me with these eyes. Many people are deprived from vision. I do not use it to disobey Allah by watching haram and looking at haram. So number one, he said, being busy and occupied with the ni'mah, with the blessing itself, than being busy with being grateful to the ni'mah. Second, acquiring a lot of knowledge without acting upon it. Durus, halaqas, seminars, lectures, khutbas, conferences, everywhere. Show me. Put it to action. Third, rushing to commit a sin and delaying the repentance. We are in general, ya akhwan, people who sin. And the believer is the one who rushes to repent after they commit a sin. We all commit sins, ya akhwan. Do not let the sin stop you from coming to Allah Azza wa Fourth, being proud you are friends with the righteous and not imitating them. You know Sheikh so-and-so? Got his number, picture with him, I know him. Want me to call him? I can call him now. And? <laughs> Show me, look at the Sheikh, he's mashallah, he's amazing, great brother. Why don't you imitate him? I've been to his house, he's been to my house. Tayyib, alhamdulillah, great. Imitate that Sheikh, imitate those righteous brothers that Allah blessed you with. You saw that the brother is treating his wife with respect and with honor. Go ahead, imitate him in that. Fifth, running after dunya and dunya running away from us. This one is very common and prevalent so involved in dunya matters, knowing for a fact that the dunya is running away from us. I know the story, a young man came to his father, he said, Baba, I want to marry this girl. The father was happy, he said, let's go. So when the father saw the girl, he said, no, 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 this is not good for you. This is good for people better than you. I'm gonna marry her. So they start fighting, he said, let's go to the police. They went to the police, what's going on? They told them what's happening, he said, let's see the girl. The police said, no, no, this is for me. The police fight, they went to the mayor. The mayor said, this girl is for me. Long story short, the girl said, you know what? Stop fighting, I'm gonna run, and whosoever catches me, he will get me. So she started running, and everybody's running. And then while they're running, they get exhausted, and they fell, and they all perished. She stood up and said, I am the dunya, and you're all running after me, you're not gonna catch me. Who do you know who told you that? Ah. I'm done. I got it all. I am satisfied. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, the son of Adam, if he has a valley of gold, he will wish for another. And nothing fills the mouth or the soul of a human being except dirt when he's in the grave. This is the only time he's satisfied because he cannot do any. But otherwise, he continue running after the dunya. And the last one is the akhirah is running to us and we are running away from it. And sometimes when you're in a gathering and you mention death, Ya Akhwan, we pray janazah, Ya Akhwan, remember Allah, Ya Akhwan, look at the Qabr, Ya Akhwan, ah, leave us alone, Ya Akhi. Every time we see you, every time we sit down, you mention death. Your beloved, our beloved, alayhi salatu wasalam, what did he say? Mention death a lot. As a matter of fact, listen to this ayah in Surah al zumar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about a certain group of people, وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ شْمَأَزَّتْ قُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ الَّذِينَ مِن دُونِهِ إِذَا هُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ Allahu Akbar. Allah said there are a group of people when you mention Allah, they are disgusted. The hearts of the people who do not believe in the Akhirah, the hearts of the people who say that this is our Jannah, this is it, 
it. Huh? They get disgusted. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ الَّذِينَ مِن دُونِهِ Let's discuss cars, Bitcoin, stocks, real estate. They're very excited. Allah mentioned that. So we don't want the door of Tawfiq to be closed, ya akhwan. So we want to stay away from all these things. We want to be from the people who are constantly thanking Allah for their blessing. We want to be from the people who learn and apply. When we want to be in the company of the righteous, let's try to imitate them. And ya akhwan, take from the dunya what you need and concentrate on the akhirah. We are so busy with what is guaranteed and we are neglecting what's not guaranteed. We are so busy with the rizq, with the sustenance, which Allah has guaranteed 100%. All you have to do is make that effort. And the Jannah, which is not guaranteed, we are not doing as much. May Allah make us from the people of the Akhirah.